Its roar is impressive. And its sheer size is incredible. Number two, one golf box, try to east toward uh, ground. You're clear. The B-29 Super Fortress is drawing hundreds of people to Eastwood Airport just to get a close look at the plane that closed out World War II. Well, we are here to uh, commemorate all the people that flew the World War II aircrafts and built them and supported them. Ole Nygren is with the Commemorative Air Force and helps pilot this incredible piece of 1940s technology. What makes this B-29 Super Fortress so unique is it's the only operational B-29 in the entire world. It's an honor to uh, you know, be able to uh, participate in this, keeping this airplane up and fly them. That's what Commemorative Air Force does. To a grown adult, the plane size is impressive. To little ones, getting their first look at a B-29, it's downright enormous. But the bigger message is the history behind the plane and the greatest generation that ever lived. They need to know uh, history and they need to know what their grandparents and in the past had to do to uh, keep this country free. Don't touch anything. Heather Turner brought her two boys to see the plane that has a connection to their family's history. If it makes an impact on him and, and my boys, if they have a picture of it in their mind, for us to reference later as we talk about the meaning and what their grandfather did and, and what our country went through and relate it to what our country is going through now, um, it's absolutely important. They may not, uh, you know, comprehend what this is at this time, but they will remember that they were able to go through B-29. In College Station, Shane McAuliffe, News 3.